Slid into the Sister Beard DMs to get an, an update. She put, his plane got delayed for a security breach, so he was circling the airport for over an hour. We met up yesterday and my best mate texted me and said two people had dropped out for a birthday bottomless brunch and did I want to come. So the poor fella ended up spending most of our first date with my best mate and a load of strangers having a bottomless brunch. Then I was so drunk when I got home, I couldn't even make it to the bathroom and was sick all over the door. What? That poor dude <laughs> comes terrible. away all, all the way from my all that money? I don't want any more information on that, George, if that's all right with you. Uh, and then I said... <laughs> <laughs> And I'm Josh. And welcome back to the Breaking Bay Podcast, where this week I've decided to wear a much more appropriately sized shirt. I noticed that last week the shirt was a little small, perhaps restricting blood flow to important areas, which might account for, I'm in my head, which might account for some of the nonsense uh, that I was talking last week. How are you doing, mate? All right, mate. Uh, I actually like that t-shirt. Robbing, yeah, you've been robbing this morning. What do you mean? What you, you decked out in black like you've been either robbing or rioting. Uh, You're a bit close to the bone with these uh, comment, that comment. Well, I mean, it's been all over Twitter, hasn't it? Big Chicago Bulls fan, massive, yeah. <laughs> Michael Jordan, Scott Michael Kiffin. Jordan. Yeah, uh, was that like 28 years ago? Who's that other guy that was in like been in films and stuff? I don't you know, know. I hate basketball. I think it's one of the worst sports on planet Earth. Derek, you know, when someone Rodman? just watched the Last Dance documentary on Netflix one time, <laughs> Dennis Rodman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he played for the Chicago yeah, Bulls. He's he yeah. like Big Brother. Yeah, he's, I think he's in everything, hasn't he? I don't know. Did he date Madonna? Yeah, I think so. Possible. Yeah. Poor bloke. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, I haven't been rioting, believe it or not. No. Not like, weirdly, the rest of the country has. Well, I mean, it's a small minority, I think, still. I mean, not as small as it should be, but I mean, I, I don't think you could say everyone has been rioting. Yeah, but like in one day, like Tory Mike were like, yeah, lads, look at this. So he's, he sends us a video and it's like, everybody's rioting in Liverpool. I don't know what the reasons were for, that, for those riots, but then you went on Twitter and it was like, also in Manchester, Hull. London, like every other city just decided to go in, in uproar as well. Yeah, I saw lots of people reclaiming their country by uh, looting a fucking Greg's pound land. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't laugh about it, you cry, right, man? I, I, I don't know, man. But, Maybe uh, this is the uh, the system making us speak about it. I don't know. No, I think it's just we noticed it was happening. Uh, I, but yeah, I did not partake of any. Um, and uh, yeah, I... I I don't own a shop or anything, so luckily I, I, I didn't. Uh, <laughs> I, my my uh, stuff didn't get smashed up. But anyway, uh, we're getting ahead of ourselves. George, uh, here's with some YouTube comments, fam. Can I do introducing <laughs> segments? Why the fuck is it so quiet? He's getting himself ready for when I have to take a, a slight hiatus. <laughs> nice. Musical coffee cup. I've noticed, by the way, on the subject of coffee cups, the one that I destroyed last week, was my favourite part of the podcast last week, when I destroyed this in uh, sheer rage at uh, George's inaccurate quiz. That's not a country, answer. that's a principality. It's a special administrative area. It's not a country. Anyway, sorry, go on. Hong Kong, we're talking about. All right, first YouTube comment from Tony Watson. Adam was drastically clinging onto that one leg like Tory Mike clinging onto conservative leadership. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I only had one move, uh, and even that one I didn't execute properly. What do you want? <laughs> got, we've got Tom Blewett at the door. He's leaving. He's all right. He'd be a good <laughs> mime artist. You see that? He was like, he, he grabbed his belly like he was like, he was like, <laughs> like yeah, like, yeah I, I don't know. Nobody in those who is though, so it's kind of his Por- reference. Boris Josh's brother. Yeah, what's the next one? From Hong Kong. Next one. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, from Daniel May. So weird listening to this. Literally just took the wife to Wagamama's, then watched the Deadpool film as part of her birthday celebrations. Oof. See, I, I brought this up with Daniel actually when we went to the cinema. Oh, yeah. Um, I said that Adam started taking the piss out of us for going and doing it. Oh, whoa, whoa, no. Yeah, you. <laughs> Take it. it was all her idea. It was, it was I, Daniel's I failed, idea. I failed to mention that. Wait a second. It was Daniel's idea to go specifically to watch uh, Deadpool and Wolverine or Wolverine and Deadpool, whatever way around is. Yeah. I'll bring it. We'll confirm. I, I believe, yeah. I'm, no. not, I'm not. Let's see if she'll answer. <laughs> Probably be Tilly. That's it. Good job. Sign fucking marriage in. right there. <laughs> then, uh, I, I get the feeling that you, uh, you might be in the doghouse. Um, but it, so, so it was so right to see that film specifically. Yeah, and what? Uh, it won? I don't, I don't know that I'm buying that, but uh, I'm sure you still had a good time, you know? It was fantastic, mate. The uh, I've, I've been told not I've been told not to do any spoilers because uh, George is going to see it tonight. It. But um, yeah. it was really good. Who are you going with? I'm going with my brother. 
Oh shit, I'm ringing other people. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I could hear ringing. <laughs> Oops. My brother, is he as talented as you or is he like the, the, the kind of homunculus that was cut off just after birth? And He's talented <laughs> in, in other things. <laughs> yeah, such Not, as? Uh, well, he likes uh, like films and like video editing and stuff like that. He wants to do that for a living. Those aren't really talents to like. Oh, he's things. good at it, though. Oh, he's good at yeah, he's what, good at doing films, it. Or? Yeah, he just needs to get himself on some actual software. That's the only problem. What's he using? Like, uh, what's he using? Um, he's using his iPhone, iMovie. Oh, fuck. You, you get quite. I mean, like, rip my takeaway. He's got like two hundred. Oh well, yeah, that's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> my brother would be an upgrade on that channel. <laughs> anyway, next comment from Ooh, tickle me that one <laughs> from Darcy Thomas. The next forfeit should. <laughs> this is quite apt. The next forfeit should be the loser has to be on rate my takeaway. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, but why would you want Josh on there? I don't yeah. think Josh is going to make it. You might want Josh filming it, like what for would, one yeah. episode. <laughs> yeah. What were the services? Didn't you get some comments on your uh, on your videos last night about me? You know, I'm just the no mark. I'm just the coat holder. Oh, I can put so many of <laughs> So like I started that, it was an old school, you'll appreciate this, Josh, like an old school 2010s uh, tubing uh, <laughs> thing that like I filmed the alarm clock waking me up, right? It's a bit of a Casey Neistat <laughs> yeah, kind yeah. of, uh, not to Casey Neistat and all that kind of uh, thing. And uh, somebody, everyone was like, I don't get it. How, how was he filming? I don't, I don't understand. Oh. Like, if you filmed the alarm clock and then woke, what? Did he wake up to film it? And that started a bit of a... Uh, a debate, but I noticed one comment that was from a guy that had replied saying, "It's his annoying mate filming <laughs> <laughs> filming his phone as he wakes up," <laughs> which he wasn't. Josh wasn't like sneaking into your room, <laughs> point, pointing at the alarm clock while I was fast asleep. <laughs> it's just a little bit of a storytelling device, which is uh, uh, employed in a very tongue in cheek manner. We all know that Adam doesn't sleep. Kids a vampire. I do wake up. I wake up about that time, about six o'clock. <laughs> yeah. And last comment from Gareth. <clears throat> so this is like a, it, just Gareth. this is like a script thing. So beard, tell us what's funny. Ten minutes later, still talking. Josh, <laughs> well, beard, explain the joke. Josh, birds tweeting. Bird, this uh, beard, this cult rant. Ten minutes later, Josh says she's not a celebrity. Beard, let's move on. <laughs> Audience never finds out why it's funny. <laughs> you were on one last week. That That's one, what we were talking about. That Pop fucking to a girl. Yeah. I'm not, I don't want to say the name. Uh, wonder, <laughs> but she got like a real name, presumably. Unless she's changed it by deed poll to Hock Tour. called like Haley or something like that. I don't know. Hock Tour. Hock Tour. Don't know. Haley Hock Tour. Uh, right, okay. Uh, we'll yeah, never sorry. know why it was I funny, did, people, I unfortunately. Got, I got a bit animated about that one. I apologise. Do you watch the, do you watch the podca podcast back? You, like each Sometimes week, if I'm really, really bored and so I want to watch, figure out... Like did you watch last week's back? The first, like, 15 minutes of it. Oh, right, okay. What else were you doing? Your steps? Getting your steps in? Uh, yeah, I, was, I was on the, <laughs> the Stairmaster and I was just on a, tr a treadmill, like, walking uphill briskly. I uh, I got to uh, visit uh, Adam's mansion, you know, from that TikTok. <laughs> Spent the day we on Friday, didn't <laughs> my, I, mate? My mate messaged <laughs> me the other day, like, completely unrelated. He'd seen that TikTok and he messaged it to me and went, fucking hell, is that his house? Like, somebody, no. somebody sent that to me and said, uh, somebody I know quite well and said, um, have you bought a house then? Like as if they, they would get, get accurate information about me from TikTok. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like as if I wouldn't tell them, oh, you know, by the way, I, I, yeah. I bought this really nice house. I haven't bought, no, I haven't. And it's not, by the way, it's not a mansion, is it? Far no. from it. It's a nice house. But it's, it's, all right. it's all right. It's not a mansion. I can't see like any rent in it. You told me the value of the house, and I was like, can't see that money. Not me either. But you know, it's the they say like the areas at premium. I'm like, man, it ain't, man. I grew up like a mile. Yeah, you away. go across that roundabout. It's like the slums in it. Yeah, I went. We had to. I know. So, so I grew up in that slum. <laughs> yeah. So like, I don't know that area of Leeds very well. But like, long story short, on Friday, Adam's car was broken down. And I got to live out my uh, best Matt Armstrong life at his house all fucking day trying to get this car started. Yeah, I thought it was going to be a 20 minute job, yeah. but you were, I thought you were going to be whipping the sleeping bag. I thought you were going to be in the, in, the, in the spare room. We had to go down to Halfords. So it's this Halfords, which were, I want us to admit, it were like, we were, it were like we're going to a third world country. I do not paying attention. I went to Halfords to get some jump leads. Got out of the car, just minding my own business, got the jump leads, came back out. And then it was like the walking dead. They were like smackheads and people just like twi twitching out like all around my car. And I'm thinking, fucking hell, did I not spot that on the way in? You know? Do you know that, you know, do you know it's the Burger King there? 
Yes. My dad once pissed himself in the drive-thru at that Burger King. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, actually pissed himself. <laughs> Were you him. drunk? Drunk driving? Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. I picked oh. him up from, oh, work, right. from work one time. And he's like, we're going down. What, that's on the York Road, right? And he's like, son, stop. I need a toilet. I'm like, dad, can you just hold it, man? You're a grown man. He's like, no, I, can't, I can't. So I'm pulling that Burger King. And he's like, go up there. And I'm like, I'm not that familiar with it, right? So I drive, accidentally drove through the drive-thru <laughs> instead of into the car park. <laughs> and he's like not there what the fuck are you doing I need to piss on <laughs> he's trying to get out trying to get out this moving car as I'm like idling through this drive <laughs> and he just goes like oh. <laughs> just like his back he's himself in your car and he just starts laughing no it was his, his oh, car right, okay. and I just looked I was like dad don't he's like he just looks at me laughing he's like yeah well we could just drive home now it's already happened <laughs> <laughs> squelching away in the seat oh all right, pay dad. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, it's a it's a shit area. Yeah, but yeah, but you go across a pretty smart roundabout, and then you down the down a little road, and you end up in the nice area of Leeds, ish. It's yeah. quite a nice area, but yeah, I got to spend the day with All Adam right. at his house, sat in his kitchen. Did a Zoom call. I won't. I, I thought I thought I'd be there for twenty minutes. Ended did, there all. Did day. a Zoom call like when so my, my trophy cabinets in the background so you can so, oh, right. show some of his like third yeah. pl- third place the trophies. <laughs> I'm there in his fancy kitchen with skylights. I'm thinking, fucking hell! I hope these people think don't think I live here. How is a skylight fancy? Like that's it not. Is a come bit on, fancy. it's uh, it's not. Come on, how many houses do you see that've got skylights? Plenty. I don't think they're that fancy. No, not thank you, Dutch. No, I don't think I've been in a house with a skylight. That's the first time I've been in a house with a skylight. I would just say it looked nice. All right, well, cheers. I My grand's got one in. She's got like a little bungalow and she's got a skylight. It's not. It's is not that the grand cat you have to let out? Yeah. yeah I've been to the house as well. Been yeah. To his grand's house. Have you? You have. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I have. This is, uh, should I remind everyone this is a podcast? It's supposed to go somewhere. We're not just having a conversation about George's grand's cat. <laughs> right. Uh, how's, your, how's your body held up from the fighting? Yeah, all right. I've not, I noticed the. Um, you know, you said I had like a hematoma on my back. I noticed that. I've got two on my hamstring as well. Oh, yeah? But they look pretty badass, but so I, yeah, I don't really mind. I think you got all the respect in the comments from people as well. I, I didn't read any a, of the comments from yeah, that video. Yeah, for being a, such a top sport, everyone was very, very yeah, happy man. with the outcome. I was, uh, I, I enjoyed it. I'd love to do more stuff like that. I'd love to have a channel where I go do ex- like do some experiences. That'd be quite fun. Oh, yeah. Like something like that. Go stay in prison for a bit. We've had this conversation yeah. before. Uh, go like wing Why don't walk. we do it then? Why don't we launch it? Why don't we launch it? Because it would cost me loads of money. And I would make very little money back. Mm. Uh, so uh, yeah, but that's class it's like why. a business expense. I reckon you can do it pretty cheap. Yeah, well, if I know anything from film with Josh and you, uh, production house is on its way out, mate. Like that, they're, it, they're on their ass next door. Then how, how, how much are they paddocking next door? Because they? the, yeah, they were supposed to go on this oil rig job, and that's not going ahead. So they've paid to go on this. <laughs> they've paid to go on this like basic sea survival course for a week and they've come back and they've postponed the gig they've still not been paid for any of it so they've sat there which is most mental to me that they've sat there there's only four of them in the office two of them work for them and then two of like the brothers own the business and so Josh and Tom like we're in his overdraft like we, what are we going to do and then two people working for them and I actually said to him like I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to have these conversations in front of the people that work for you because <laughs> if, you, if they know you're 30 days from going broke like they're probably going to be getting the CVs out you know I'm like it's all right. <laughs> Uncle Bid meets food will come to the rescue. I'll send some dollar their way. People in the comments don't like it, but... Uh, <laughs> well, they do, don't do need to put their CV in anyway. You're stealing everybody. Yeah. <laughs> I said to two lads that work for him, I said, whatever he's paying you, I'll give you 10% more. <laughs> <laughs> I Ruthless. joke. I Ruthless. joke. I joke. Is there, a, is there an agenda? And I'm not allowed to say that, but... Uh, we have got an, Well, we are just passing through the agenda. Those that are the keen-eyed viewers have noticed that I'm wearing a baseball cap this week. Um... It's because, remember the other week on Patreon, I said, oh, we're going to get that PRP done on my head. Yeah, yeah. I mean, after you get, you give me, spent years now, years plural, giving me grief for, for fair, my hair, you've, uh, you've, you've undertaken some treatment. Yeah, my sister went, yours isn't even that bad. I'm like, yeah, but like, if we get it really early, keep that thickness in. You <laughs> know? Know. What is it? It's, so what they do is they take your blood out of your arm. Right. And they put it in a centrifuge. So it makes the <laughs> blood and the platelets separate. That's the biggest word I've ever heard you say that. <laughs> <laughs> And so the platelets, <laughs> the, 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 they then put the platelets into your into your hair follicles, and it helps like rejuvenate your hair. So it just grows thicker. Yeah. Right. Like he's taking f- finasteride. Is that you on me? Me, I think. <laughs> the what? He, We're revealing my drug stack here. Yeah. He's, <laughs> he's taking finasteride for his piss poor hairline. And I'm like, I thought I'll start early. It's not my hairline. That's never going to change just because like I, I, mine's a little thinning on top, which I don't mind. Like I'll go bald, but I, I like having 
uh, on my head. I wouldn't want to go yeah. bald here. But I like having long hair because I'm lazy. Um, so it looks a bitch. Like, I, I'm fully committed to, like, if I have to like, end up like Larry David with just, like... Oh, yeah, with the, a side... That's my granddad's got, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, I can deal with that. But it just looks a bit crap if it's not if it's somewhere in between. So I thought, you know what? Take some of them there, uh, minoxidil and finasteride pills and see if it just thickens out a bit. And Because uh, it worked? Uh, a little, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, 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 it's more, I think, healthy than it, than it was, but... I don't know, they're not really that expensive. I said, to, I, said, I said I'd give my sister a shout out on the podcast. So if anybody else needs that doing to their hair, check out LG Aesthetics on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> don't even know your sister's business. I think that's what it is. Uh, she's like, um, you said you were going to get it done, didn't you? I don't know, like, does it work? Yeah, well, it yeah, it hurts. does work. Yeah, it hurts a little bit. Yeah? Mm. Like how many treatments do you need? Uh, I think she said five. five. What Every kind six of- weeks. And then after that, it's like once a year. Some kind of commitment, that. Is it? Maybe, though. Like, how expensive is it? Mates rates? I got it for free, so I don't know. Free then, yeah? Sweet. Free. <laughs> All right. Well, if you, she'll do yours for free. You give another shout out on the podcast. So we'll just like, let's keep, just keep, 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 keep it going. <laughs> yeah. And we'll both have like afros at the end of it's it. It's a good catch me though, because like most people that listen to this, I would imagine are like- Balded. 30 plus year old men. <laughs> and if there's any ladies that want Botox, you know, you can have a bit of that as well. No, don't do that. Come on. Like, Well, you're ruining the-, the the business. No, I'm sorry, trying to help yeah. her. You totally know. She's, a, she's yeah. a nurse working, doing. Just tell her not to watch that episode of the podcast where we said shout outs are like worth nothing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> she won't do it for free anymore. <laughs> uh, what else you got on the list, Georgie boy? Uh, you put something in the production chat saying, "So you hit a bird with your <laughs> a lunch or something?" Oh. An avian, not you know, not slang for woman. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I went to, to visit my mum and dad this weekend with Tilly in the back of the car. And basically, it's not a really a good story, but I went, it's probably a father who failed. <laughs> but I came over like a, the brow of a hill. And as I got over the side, there were two wood pigeons in the middle of the road. The first one flew off into the tree and his mate just didn't move. And we've had this story before, like I couldn't believe it happened. So I thought, it's going to move. It's going to move. It didn't move. I, I just said a little thud under the <laughs> car and it was just like a puff of feathers. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so then Tilly's going, daddy, what's that? And I'm like, it was a pigeon. And I'm oh, like, you like <laughs> she's like, have you hit the pigeon? I'm like, yeah, yeah. I'm like, but I looked at, I like, I looked at rearview mirror. I'm like, oh, it's all right. It's got up and flown away. <laughs> the, one from, the, the other one from the tree had flown down to his mate. Dave. <laughs> You know, he's like crippled up floor. <laughs> You're like a, a serial bird killer now. Then. I know, I must have killed I killed. I killed birds. one again accidentally in Texas, I think it was. Uh, that was a big one that scared me a little. I know, all the, all, all the, all the Peter folk got in the comments last time that we joked about it, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, we, we, look, man, neither of us want to kill animals. Like, we should make that clear. Just yeah. Sometimes if you're driving a vehicle, one pops out in front of you. Like, oh, it's not stupid enough to move from where it was. Oh, I'd try and dodge them if it's safe to. I wouldn't just. It wasn't keep... safe to do it. Where nah. I, I, yeah, I, I had to just commit and. Nothing you could do about it then. I did, I, break, I did break a little bit. Yeah. But alas, it was no match. Cool. So that's, <laughs> item one on the podcast agenda was you killing a wood pigeon. And then you also added. Swell. Um, talking point for the pod. Tilly picked a bogey out of a nose <laughs> the size of a cornflake earlier. Yeah, I mean, like, I don't think that was. A, <laughs> I didn't think it'd make it as far as the show, but it must be thrown on the ground this week. Size of a cornflake. Yeah, honestly, mate, she was sat there, like, <laughs> before she was going to bed, picking her nose like this. And I'm like, stop picking your nose, stop picking your nose. And then you could see the sense of relief. She went, pulled it out, and it was like, a, I don't even know, her nostril's only that big. It came out like that big, like a green cornflake. <laughs> that, well, thanks for that imagery. But I was quite envious Jesus. of her, because she did look happy. You're going to have to go in, George, after this, and change the name of the podcast from two weeks ago from the worst podcast ever, and <laughs> yeah, call yeah. this that. Yeah. What have you been up to this weekend, lad? Uh, nothing much, lad. Uh, avoiding riots. No, I don't. Uh, <laughs> I don't really do anything this weekend. To tell you the truth, uh, some work. Just edits. Uh, end of a uh, video I filmed last week, which I think I mentioned when we were on uh, the last time we. Did I saw the video. Didn't I? I saw like I saw you editing it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was funny, funny being in his house because I, I got a vision of what his life is like. <laughs> Right, so, right, the, so he goes, look at this lad, I'm just working on this video. So at the end of his like kitchen island, he's just got his laptop. Cameras everywhere, just like <laughs> kit everywhere. There was some All Saints jeans just over one of the chairs. Right. There was honestly shit everywhere. And he's like, yeah, just working on this. And he's probably, I don't know. If Why do you have to see the fucking brand of the jeans? <laughs> if timeline's this long, he's like, I don't know, 20% way through. He's like, yeah, I just sort of come and go as, as I please, you know, I just sort of work my way through it. It's nice uh, doing that though. Yeah. Because like, if I've been away like two weeks, whatever in Michigan or two and a bit weeks and it's like relentless, like every waking minute is work. I'm not yeah. complaining, but like 
you get burnt out with that, right? So if I come back and I shoot like one video after I've recovered a little bit from that trip after three weeks, yeah, yeah. I'll come back to it. I don't have to do it all in one day or two days. I'm not knocking it. I'm just giving people a, oh, right, a, a so picture of what-, what You the, are right though. I just I just live in that room. Yeah. So the, so I've the, actually got an office, that house that I just I never yeah. use. It's got two offices actually. <laughs> Technically, two of them were really tiny ones. So he shows me this. Yeah, what we here for? It must have been eleven o'clock when he showed me this, right? So three or four hours had passed. He, he went. We went out. We had to go. Out for, what did we go out for the first time? Uh, an extension lead. Oh yes, yeah, so we, we went for an extension lead first. So we had this is how many trips it took to try and get his car started. My car battery was flat, basically. Is yeah. What, why was he? Um, and Josh is there because he's essentially my carer, and I can't really do real life adult. <laughs> so we went to we went to Marks and Spencer's. Right, there's a Marks and Spencer's petrol station near his house. And this, give this it away was, where I live, mate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> give, give, give people some more clues. <laughs> I was like, this is what would happen if you gave like a 16 year old loads of money. So he, <laughs> what? Went, what? So he went into he went into the petrol station. He's like, I'm just getting food for the day, lad. He's like, all right. I'm like, yeah, yeah, man, whatever. So he goes over to like the chicken, you know, like there's packs, of, like single packs of chicken. The £4.50 from uh, from Max, Max Spencer's off three for eight quid. <laughs> They're three so, for eight quid, motherfucker. So he, got, he got three for eight quid. He got two of these, like two or three of these big salads. Long story short, he gets all this food and he's like, this is today's food. <laughs> goes, to, goes to pay for it, it's like 55 quid. He's like, yeah, I just do that every day. I'm like, fuck it. He do not prepare food, he just eats out of plastic. <laughs> so then he takes it back to his house. I don't out. necessarily spend 50 pounds every day. <laughs> so I had a lot of stuff there. I, go, and, and, you know, I might add, I bought you a fucking drink, you little twat. <laughs> you me a drink. I spent all day, you know, I'm trying to get your fucking gas started. <laughs> So he puts it, lays it out in the kitchen island. He's like, I don't like to eat my salad cold. So I'm going to let it warm up a bit. So a few more hours, I'll try to get this fucking car started. Can you stop making me sound so like <laughs> I go mental. back in. I go like, so we still could get started. Walk back in. This is probably three hours later and he's eating at this point. I walked into his kitchen and he sat at his kitchen island. He took his pants off, which he's wearing now, like these shorts. His shorts are next to him. He's in his boxer shorts, just scoffing these fucking salads, right? And it I'm was like, hot. <laughs> I'm like, why have you took your pants off? Because he had like comfy, look at these shorts. Like, in fact, you stand up. These are the shorts he had on, the comfy shorts. It's like, it's more comfortable. I'm like, they're, they're like cloth shorts anyway. So yeah, they're more, thick. It was like, yeah, look, comfy. it's my fucking house. If I want to sit there naked, <laughs> then you suck it up. Not literally. Yeah, no, not, not, not literally. <laughs> so like, I got an insight into his life, which was amazing to see. <laughs> the thing is what I realized actually, after you started mentioning that is I need to live in an apartment, but an apartment which doesn't have any other apartments. Yeah. <laughs> around. So something that doesn't exist, basically. You would be good in like a, a an open plan apartment, wouldn't you? Which is like a separate Yeah, but I can't off. be, I can't live next to people. So like that. I need an apartment, which is not, which is in the middle of nowhere. So if you know of any of those, you know, let me know. It was fun. It was, it was a funny day. And eventually I got to leave. Yeah, it took, like, it took a full work, it's like a full work in seven hours to restart the car. Yeah. Piece of fucking shit. <laughs> <laughs> which car was this one? Uh, one of my cars, one of my vehicles. You got two vehicles. The first vehicle, not the second vehicle. Ah, you had to buy a second vehicle because the first vehicle stopped working. <laughs> <laughs> um, in the spirit of um, of killing birds, I uh, <laughs> I saw this this dad joke online, which I thought was really funny. Have a look at, that. read it out. Where am I going from? The, the picture. All right. Local vet has got jokes. Vet. My horse's name is Mayo. Mayo Nays. <laughs> Nays spelt N E I G H S. <laughs> Dreadful. But it's so bad, it's good. I, I, I oh, love jokes yeah. like that. Then I found one uh, when he was on about to live with the bogey size of a cornflake. Male bees die after mating. That's basically their life. Honey nut cheerio. <laughs> <laughs> good one. Should we do a break of beer? <laughs> It's not what? called that, Josh. What the fuck's it called, then? It's called the Big Fact Hunt. Uh, I, I momentarily forgot last <laughs> week, but that's because I was like in, I don't know, I'd forgotten about it, but you like legitimately have not, we changed this about like nine months ago. How long ago did we move into the studio? I don't know now. Maybe about four months, three or four months. Yeah, all right. I need some new deco this place, man, you know. <laughs> anyway. Big Fact Hunt. Isn't it, isn't it kind of early for this? We've we got lots of new segments there, don't we? I'll do oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, yes. All right, who wants first I'll question. go first, motherfucker. Okay. What is the currency of Vietnam? Oh, Vietnam. The bat. The bat. Yeah, B-A-H-T or something like that. Is that your final answer? Yeah. I think that's Thailand, isn't it? Is it? Oh, got it anyway. Could also be there. 
going with that? Yeah, I don't think it's right, but fucking US dollar. It was the Vietnamese dong. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> uh, we are children. Is that for real? It's called a dong. The Vietnamese dong. Dong, dong, dong. Yeah, nice. Dong. dong. <laughs> right. <laughs> what was the first single to be released by the band Oasis, Josh? Ooh, good one. Good one, George. I, I don't know. It's not going to be Wonderwall, is it? I'm not going to go fucking straight to the top of Wonderwall. The first Wrong ever. album, mate, for the first single. I don't know any other Oasis songs. Do you want to try to steal it, Adam? I don't think the stealing is allowed as we established this before. How far have we got for forfeit? Pretty far. Oh, well, yeah. That's why I'm letting you I was willing to agree before. Uh, I don't know, let me think of some other songs. I don't, I've, I don't know. I've, I was never a what's, like the, what's the story, Morning Glory? Is that one of their songs? Yeah, but again, you're not picking the right album, are you, for the first I don't know their album. Right, never just put us out of misery, George, for Christ's sake. No answer. Five. Four, not, nobody's going to guess, George. Three, two, one. Do you want to have a guess? No. No, I would have just done it. Supersonic. Like, I would never have got that. There you go. That's the big fact. I was never a big Oasis these. fan. I like. I did like the... F- what's the first album called? Definitely Maybe. I think so, yeah. And uh, what's the story going Classics, of course. Uh, but I think something about their... Uh, Respective personalities put me off. Why are they not? Uh, why have they never like done a reunion? Why, why were they? Why were they falling out in first place? Imagine falling out with your flesh and blood to the extent that that, that you don't like. What was the reason for it? Do I know? don't know. I think it's a bit bullshit, me. I think they're probably think it's full gear. They'll, they'll talk now, surely, because they're not. Whenever they get interviewed about it, they're like, "Oh yeah, well, you know, if you want to talk, I'm not me." Like, da, da, da. yeah, but that's they're not you bothered. Would, that's something you would like. If we had beef, I would say the same thing. I'd be like, "Well, yeah, if he wants to talk, you know, my door's always open." <laughs> If you want some money, my, 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 my channel's always open from coming and fuck it up. <laughs> I know, that's, that's, that's brutal, that. <laughs> I'm only joking, man. You're fucking horrible. I'm, I'm messing with you, man. We're filming again, aren't we, soon? Maybe. We interrupt this program to bring you a special report. Sorry to interrupt this episode. I just want to take a quick moment to tell you about our Patreon. As you know, we don't take on any old sponsorships around here. In fact, we've only done two in the last two years. That's why we need Patreon. That's where you guys come in. Each week, we do a Patreon-only episode. How's it going to watch a Kung Fu Panda 4? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'd just call you for that. <laughs> I'm not shagging you. Anyway, George, as well as behind-the-scenes content from all our trips abroad, all the antics, and all the stuff that we've frankly can't post on YouTube. It's a great community being built and the money generated helps keep this sinking ship afloat. If not, George is going to have to go back to selling his ass for money. (laughs) You get early access to every episode and there's a Patreon only episode with every podcast. Not only that, there's almost a year's worth of behind the scenes content for you to catch up on and you can see all the antics that goes on whilst we're abroad. (laughs) <laughs> and you can ask us questions on our Patreon only Q&As. All this for less than the price of a pint. Thanks as always for the support. Now back to the episode. What was that on your was it the latest video where some woman offered to pat you down? <laughs> George, you're giving it away there. That was some a clip that I sent when I was editing uh, oh, the newest not out video. Yet? Oh. No, but I, I did. Oh, yeah, woman, I, woman, I said Spoilers. That she accused me of, of, of cheating. I think tongue in cheek. She didn't actually think I was cheating. She said, "Have you put that in your pockets?" I was like, "Well, you can feel free to check." And she went, "I'll happily pat you down." I just kind of went like this at the camera. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it was the pan over to her afterwards. That was funny. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, although, you know, it's been a while since I had any real human contact, so if it had not been a public place, probably would have taken her up on it. <laughs> Nurse Ricky would have been, let's go. Um, what, mate? So, stop it now. All right, sorry, lad. Um, speaking of uh, busting a nut, Tory Mike, um, <laughs> oh my what, God. Did he, what did he put in the chat recently? He, he put doubled in the, down, didn't he? I'm starting to think that Sarah gets his phone and puts it in the chat, like, <laughs> to embarrass him. <laughs> He's, we can't actually say what he, if you recall, we can't actually say what, what I can't he's, remember what he said. Right, we can't say it, but he was well, trying Well, it was to, a meme that he sent in, I think. Right, That's but it started. do you want me to just summarise? Because I don't want you to get into hairy water and have to like cut around it. But he was saying that um, it's, uh, he was basically saying that it's, it's a, again, it's a positive thing. It's a negative thing if you last too long with, right, your, yeah. with, your, uh, with your partner, right? So it said, he sent something in, it said, hot take, I think it's super hot when a guy busts quick. 
Yeah, so he put that meme in there uh, in, in kind of defense of Mike's politics when it comes to sex, right? <laughs> and we all just said, no, come on. And then I think George said, yeah, I'm sure Mrs. Mike really loves it that you, you can't deliver pleasure over longer than like a 40 second interval. You know, like a TikTok. And then he <laughs> yeah. like, but then he digs his heels and then he like tries to argue the point when three guys are just saying, Mike, it's all right. Like, it's all, I'm sure like Sarah, they married? Yeah. Right. I'm sure uh, Mrs. Haffenden tolerates it, right? I'm sure she's, you know, she's, she, she's above it, right? But you can't argue that I she enjoys was, the fact that you just, that you, you can't last longer than like three strokes, Yeah, he's, no, he was buzzing that he's like, he blows his load as he enters the doorway <laughs> of the uh, Forbidden Forest, you know what I mean? He's like that, he was buzzing with it. It's like, yeah, I'll add one pump, I'm done, mate. Yeah, which is fine, but it's the fact that he, like, he tries to make <laughs> that make it, oh, that's a good thing. Yeah. That people would enjoy, no woman enjoys that, man. Maybe like as a novelty one time, they, they'd take it as a compliment. Yeah. But oh, ooh, I'm, but every I'm time. really sexy. But like, like if that, if you're married and that's like every time, <laughs> presumably I don't think it's happening to him every time. It must I think be. he's, the way he I talks think it about happened it. like one time and he talked about it and like picked no, but, it up saying because it was great. He, but no, but he keeps putting stuff like that in the chat to the point of like, it's almost like he's trying to yeah. convince himself. Are we ringing now? Sarah. I really, I really, I really, I really Sarah you actually? No, I got Sarah's number. I've got Tori Mike's number. Funny you should mention it. I think I actually have got a number. <laughs> I'm joking. This is a failed two for two on phone calls of the podcast. <laughs> no one likes you today. You must know we recorded. <laughs> Fucking hell, it's good. Yeah. Can't answer that. <sighs> Mike probably thinks you're asking him to do some work and we know that he's actually incredibly shy. He never answers his phone to me either. <laughs> no. No. He's, I think he's just got off He's thing, thinking, like, fuck, I need to send him files. Shit. <laughs> yeah, we need, we need to do some work. <laughs> he's a little socially awkward as well, isn't he, Mike? In many ways, for a scouser, he's not as he's not as exuberant he's, and boisterous yeah. as most of them. Yeah, yeah, he's like he's quite open in the chat, but in real life, he's not as uh, forthcoming with uh, banter. Is do you it? remember when he said like we should do a night out? Like quite recently, it was about a week ago or no? two weeks ago. He said something like, "Oh yeah, we need to get out, boys," or something like that. And I'm like, "Fuck you, shut up, mate. <laughs> we invite you. We've been on about nine, ten nights out, and you never turn up." I've got to have my fucking COVID mask on me. <laughs> I don't want to take it on one fucking face, Sarah. I, I bet Sarah will be there like, get the fuck out, Mike. Get out from under my, my feet. <laughs> um, George, I think you've, uh, have you got a new, another, can we rewind the, the new segment with Jen? Have we got any more updates? Or? See, the, uh, actually the comments on the last week's podcast have split the room. Some people are like, yeah, nah, that's the worst. Different. And then some people are like, that's the best segment ever. So we'll try again this week. Okay. <laughs> See, she needed a pop filter there for the mic. Because oh, Danielle's you... ringing me back. I don't know. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> Hello. Hello, did you want me? Yeah, um, I'm just, you're on the podcast, but Adam didn't believe that it was your idea to go to the, the Wolverine and <laughs> what, what other thing. Can you tell him? <laughs> what? You chose the film, Danielle. You picked that film, or did you just want to go to the cinema? I picked it because I thought he'd like it. <laughs> right, that makes a lot more sense. Thank you, Danielle. Okay, bye. Have a nice day. You sound very sexy today. Fucking <laughs> 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 oh, you know, ring him on the podcast. Anyway, could we play that giggle again? <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> second time. <laughs> okay, so on Josh's instruction. I uh, don't drag me down with it. Slid into the Sister Beard DMs to get an an update on uh, the Irish fella. Big big weekend. She, now met she tagged us. Oh yeah, I sent, you know, I sent her a message yesterday. I said, "How did it go with Conor McShagger?" <laughs> <laughs> so the lowdown was: she put, "Ha ha ha! Uh, it was eventful. His plane got delayed for a security breach, so he was circling the airport for over an hour. Irish. We met up yesterday, and my best mate texted me and said two people had dropped out for a birthday bottomless brunch uh, she was on, and did I want to come? So the poor fella ended up spending most of our first date with my best mate and a load of strangers having a bottomless brunch. Oh, then, my God. Then I was so drunk when I got home, I couldn't even make it to the bathroom and was sick all over the door. So I'm not sure if he will be coming back. Uh... All that said, but I but I had a blast. What that poor dude man, <laughs> comes away all, all the way from Ireland. all that money, and then you see it, and you're put, like, oh, look, God, man, you, don't look as, you don't look as good in real life as on pictures. <laughs> I put Jesus, poor bloke came all that way to basically have his date kibosh, friend zoned, and watch you throw up everywhere. And she put, I made it worth his while though. Oh, nah. He invited me to Dublin, so it can't have been that bad. 
I don't want any more information on that, George, if that's all right with you. Um, and then I said, <laughs> <laughs> and then I said, I can only imagine what Adam's reaction is going to be on the podcast. And then she said, well, <laughs> he sent some horrible messages. I am. Yeah. They were, they were mostly just like, I shouldn't have done it, but uh, am I between family, they were mostly just um, kind of IRA jokes. Because oh, right. oh, it wasn't that. I wasn't. <laughs> you should put straight off the plane and into getting your minge battered. What a professional. <laughs> oh, no. That is ho- that, you're a horrible bastard. You. I did say that to her. That's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's terrible. That's, oh, if anyone has, a, well, maybe not if you have a sister. If you have a sibling, it's the kind of way you talk to each other. Yeah, not a sister. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Like, we're, 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 we're <laughs> when, she, when you were on about the um, bottomless brunch thing with friends, you went like that. Like, what were you going to say? Because I thought you were going to make a joke about something at George. I'm not going to dwell upon it. Uh, I just went like that to stop you from making the joke. All oh, right, okay. But uh, yeah, thanks for that, George. Thanks for keeping me apprised of. Uh... You're welcome, mate. I can't believe that poor fella. I can't believe she chundered everywhere. Oh yeah, she's she Serial gets in the chundera. Yeah, something like to me, it's the only time I've thrown up recently from beer. Do you remember when Germany, Germany part one? Yeah, yeah. It's very rare in that my part life. Two, wasn't it? it was no, it was one. I think it was two, mate. It was one. Trust me. Um, <laughs> believe me, that's burned in my fucking memory. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> or the lack of memory's burned in my memory. But anyway, um, it's, I can maybe count maybe two or three times or four times in my whole life that I've thrown up from drinking beer. Yeah. You know? Um, but I think my sister does it, like, quite frequently. <laughs> you know, I'm just talking maybe, like, on a monthly basis. All oh, right, okay. It's in such a, a, a mess that she ends up... Heaving. Uh, so yeah, we're not. That does quite... sound like a terrible date. I thought Jen prided herself on being a good date. Yeah, game Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know what? As well, it's just because she can't say no to beer. So that was probably all going to be fine until she got invited on a bottomless brunch. Can you imagine that? Like, imagine like I go on a date. Imagine like the, the rare occasion or the, the unlikely event that I go on a date with somebody, right? And I turn up to this person's house, or I'm picking them up, or I'm meeting them somewhere. At least it's you're a... not flying there. True, um, but I mean, for certain people, it might be something I'll do. But no, anyway, tricky. like. Um, I get there and then that person says, oh, by the way, do you want to come on a bottomless brunch with me and like eight friends? I'd be like, no, uh, I don't want to do that. So <laughs> you choose either we go somewhere or like you go with them and I go back home. You I, know? I, I think now, nah, I think you would, well, maybe not you, but most people are just like, yeah, of course, because they want to be like polite and whatnot. I wouldn't. Right. No? George, I'm got to say George is the authority. I think that was rude if we'd planned something mm. and we were just the two of us and then you turned it into... Like multiple people that I've never met before. Yeah. Most yeah, of which yeah. probably girls. But plus for me, like, I'm not going to feel awkward, but a lot of people would feel kind of. Uh, yeah, maybe especially, the amount of dates, especially the amount of dates that she's been on. And also, I'd be sat there going, have I just like a new guy this week? You know, like. And yeah. also for her friends, for her to bring a first date to a mm. bottomless brunch with all friends, I'd feel a bit like, why have you brought this guy when you're on your first date. Maybe he's just like super attractive. He's like the arm candy, guy yeah. candy, you know? Have you seen what he looks like? No. <laughs> maybe, she's, maybe, she's, maybe she's not showing you any pictures of him for a reason. Uh, like, I don't know, man. Like, I, I don't give a shit, but like, I just think, I'm, I don't want to say I'm not criticising my sister because I am, but she's my sister, so I'm entitled. Um, but like, if, if that were me, I'd be like, what the fuck, no? Like, yeah, can right. we just go to like, have a beer, like you and I, you and me. Yeah, so did he spend all like, weekend with her? Like, they come over for a full weekend. Yeah. No, I think he, I think he was supposed to get there on like from what she told me. I think he was supposed to get there on like the Friday night. Yeah, but then didn't get there on the Friday night and ended up getting there on Saturday because the oh he got there really late on Friday to the point that like he just stayed at a hotel somewhere. Yeah, and then they met up on the Saturday and then presumably left on the Sunday. Oh, um, yeah. Could you imagine? I there's, I'm, I'm not flying that like to for a date for, with somebody. I would even I barely even like drive more than forty five minutes for a date. You know what I mean? Like, what if you got there and like all the pictures from That's online saying, yeah. were like from. Five years ago, or yeah, fully catfished. Yeah, and you just stuck there for the weekend. Uh, you, you're not under any obligation to stay, are you? I'd be like, <laughs> well, no. See you. There's only one person that Adam would fly to. Heart attack, heart attack, grill. Las Can we Vegas, just stop Nevada. mentioning this <laughs> well, person I'm not every time about... in, in every single? All right, I like humorously alluded to that person, but like, let's, can we just stop objectifying the poor, poor girl? I don't. What are you talking about? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Cue the line where he goes, what the fuck else are we talking about this podcast? <laughs> yeah. What's next on the agenda? 
George, what's next on the agenda? <laughs> <laughs> Should, let Adam likes to talk about himself. Do that section about... I don't like right. talking... I fucking hate talking about myself. Do that section about when he talks about his own eating challenges. All right. Oh, no. Challenge <laughs> rewind. <laughs> why, do, why did I not film that? Why, why not... Challenge. What? God, I felt like I was watching... Is that loud enough? I felt like I was watching uh, Wolverine and Deadpool again then. <laughs> that was one thing I will say. I went to watch IMAX, right? Went and watched it in an IMAX. In Bradford? No, at White Rose in Leeds. Uh, All right, okay. And it was so loud. <laughs> like, yeah, they're too loud in there. I don't too know. loud. Try and sound older, gents. Yeah, it's too loud in the cinema. It was too loud in the cinema. Yeah. All right. Uh, we'll wear some ear protectors next time. I watched, um, while you were watching Deadpool Wolverine last night, I watched uh, a cult classic I've been meaning to watch for ages. Old as fuck. A movie called Angel Heart with Mickey Rourke and Robert De Niro. Ooh. And I had totally forgotten how fucking ace Mickey Rourke is acting. You know, people fixate on the fact that like he, he's kind of had a, a bit of a tumultuous per, personal life. And why? Well, what's his uh, personal life been like? I just think he, he kind of got into a bit of stuff like in the mid late nineties. What? And like then sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Probably. Okay. Um, um, and I think he's he's a boxer as well. So he actually quit acting, I think, to become a boxer at some point. Just like, like fuck it, I'm gonna just go get my face mashed up. Um, and but then he kind of like made a big comeback, didn't he, with like uh, the wrestler, which I also watched. Yeah, yeah, they're a good film. Yeah. yeah um, and I just, he's just a fucking ace actor. And I just, you know, he's not one of those people I'd ever have thought of like, oh yeah, he's one of the all time yeah. greats. But I watched uh, Angel Heart, which is like a cool, like gothic thriller thing. Like noir, like a noir detective thriller. Um, and it's just a really good film. Like, you know, back in like the eighties and nineties when they made good films. Yeah. I realized that makes me sound really I old. watched two prop, I actually found the time to watch two films, gents, recently, which is the I can't remember the last time I did that. What, two um, films? Are yeah, are we seen that they're <laughs> almost certainly animated. Three films? I watched Deadpool and uh, no, so then I watched uh, Amy Winehouse Back to Black. Don't know. I think Danielle's chose it. Um, yeah. I don't think this this film ever made it to cinema. It was the Amy Winehouse one. Yeah, I think, I think it, it did. Yeah, did it? yeah. So it, it was so, well, so well. bad. Yeah, you told it me was bad. like I thought it was like a, I thought Josh had made it next door. I thought it was like a. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you dragging Josh to a mud again? I thought it was like a student film or something. Like no, the act, the he's main looking actor. for work, he needs shout outs. <laughs> the main buried. actor in it, she did a really good job. Yeah. But like the story itself and the progression of it and everything were just some scenes went over to, it was just an awful Do you think it's just depiction a, of oh, life actually isn't that interesting? That's not me knocking Amy Winehouse, you're very talented and everything, but like, where's the threat, man? Where's, where's, where's like the drama? Like, okay, like yeah. she, she became addicted to alcohol and drugs, which everyone knows, a matter of public record. Yeah, because like, basically the, her life was basically getting pissed up in her apartment or performing. Mm. recording like that's that's what the story basically depicts and then the, the story was, with her husband what was the third film uh the bike riders with tom hardy thought you'd watch like, like anything involving motorized vehicles yeah but have you seen it no i've heard it's bad though it's bad yeah is, it, is that like a motorcycle gang or yeah like it's basically the story of i guess motorcycle gangs <laughs> before they became like hardcore gang mem gang members so it was so like they were just like hanging out at 50s diners yeah messing with the jukebox a little bit yeah like having know, a bit of a scrap but a couple of milkshakes enjoying them you know chilling and then afterwards they become like you know Drug dealers and hardcore criminals. But um, your theory about Tom Hardy just putting on a voice rings so true in that. <laughs> I love it. That's not a criticism. It's just that I, it, does he do a funny voice in this one? I kind of want you to see it because it's like so funny that you're like, what? <laughs> in every that's what it is, man. Every film, like you, I reckon, he starts. He's like, right, what kind of funny voice can I do for this character? And it kind of goes from there. Oh, it's successful. Like I think he's he, he's done a load of great films. I like Tom Hardy, but like that is. Let's see if it does a bit where he's talking. I think he'd have started a riding club. <laughs> I don't think he was Cockney. He sounds like my mate Jeff Esper. He's supposed to be from uh, like Boston, that kind of area. Yeah, yeah. That's where he's supposed to be from. Yeah. Boston. But he's it's like really squeaky and weird. I'm like, as soon as he started talking, I'm like, oh, fuck. <laughs> it's kind of like, that's a good method of acting though. So I think it kind of convinced, a lot of really good actors do that, don't they? See, you say that about Daniel Day-Lewis, like they, like they start with the voice and it kind of all, all, all kind of like, Immediately transports them into a different. They know yeah. they're trying to be somebody else rather than just acting with their own voice. But it, it, overall, that's not a good film either, in my opinion. No, I heard it was pretty terrible. I mean, it didn't really appeal to me on the surface. I didn't look at it and think, oh, it sounds really good. I, 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 I normally just don't mind out with um, Tom Hardy, and he's like a. I've started like, doing some really depressing that way. Like every <laughs> night, like when it gets just like eight o'clock ish, I'll just wang a load of mead in a in a in a glass and just go i've got like a little kind of projector thing at the house i rent i didn't put it in there and i'll just go on like prime and just rent some old film so you know a dodgy stick no 
No, because uh, I'm a law-abiding citizen. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I just I've been doing that quite a lot lately. What's it's quite like, therapeutic though. What's it's like a really films? dark room. Just and, and horror films. Is that no, like, just like old old movies. Like that's uh, uh, the rest is not a, uh, like not a horror uh, movie. Sometimes I watch horror films because they're kind of uh, it's one of my preferred genres. But like I just like any. I watched the history of violence, which I'd never seen before. Viggo Mortensen. That's a strange film. Good, but like it's a weird one. Yeah, I'd, rec- I'd recommend it. The editing's a little kind of weird. It's, it's a good film. It's like acclaimed. People say it's a good film, but some of the f- there's a, a few fight scenes, um, act, like action scenes, which are edited really badly. Right. I almost like they're comical. Like, as a part where it's an old film, so I'm not really giving anything away. But like, he gets confronted by these two. He owns his diner. He gets confronted by these two mobsters, and they're about to like hurt some people in his diner, and so like he has to take action. He's, he's holding this kind of pot of coffee. And this guy's pointing a gun at him and he like smacks him around the head with this pot of coffee. It plays this like comedy like punch sound effect kind of thing. <laughs> and then he dives over and grabs this gun. I'm thinking like the, the way it's, it's shot just kind of makes it like one of those, you know, when you see those like Indian versions of Superman, you know, they yeah, like yeah, Bollywood yeah, yeah. versions yeah. of Superman and the editing's really terrible. <laughs> yeah. It's like that. But other than that, it's a really good film. I like anything that Viggo Mortensen's in. I, uh, have, Is what, he who was in Lord of the Rings? Yeah, he was Aragorn, yeah. wasn't he, in Lord of the Rings? Green Book as well. It's a fantastic have one. Have you seen them making, the making a new Gladiator? Yeah, the second one. They're yeah, like yeah, remaking yeah. Gladiator with... Um, They're not remaking it. It's, it's, it's a sequel. Oh, is it, right? Yeah, yeah. With yeah. Denzel Washington in. Yeah. That, I think that'd be a good film. Like, you know, I saw a trailer when I went to watch um, Deadpool and Wolverine. I think <laughs> I, I think I found too good to see that. Nah? That's such a good Gladiator is such a good film that like why why fuck with it, you know what I mean? Because as soon as you put something else in there, which is gonna it's gonna be underwhelming, it's not gonna be as good as the original. Unless it books the trend of cinema. It it just isn't gonna be, you know. I, I think the story is that it's uh you remember the uh the woman in it, oh man, who, who's the what's the actress called? Actor called. Um You know you know, I'd say actress. You're supposed to, are you? Um uh, Connie Nielsen, I think is the name of the actor. Okay. Who plays the woman, you know, like kind of Maximus's kind of love interest, even though his wife's been killed. Yeah. Do you remember? Yeah, yeah. She's like Commodus's sister. Right. The bad guy's sister. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so apparently she has a baby. It's like an encyclopedia. Isn't with, it? with like, it might, and it's Maximus's, Maximize, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> it's Russell Crowe's baby, right? Yeah. And in the story, the second one, I think, is that that baby's grown up and it's now like, you know, like also a gladiator and just fighting fools. Uh, but yeah, I'm not gonna be watching it, man. Best the, part of Gladiator is when Oliver Reed was in it. The story about him, you know, he died during the filming of Gladiator, so they had to CGI him into some scenes. Right. Yeah. The guy that gets, uh, the guy that plays Proximo, the guy that like buys him, the slave trader. All oh, right, yeah, yeah. But Oliver Reed was like this notorious alcoholic, right? And right. Apparently, he died. I don't know if, how much this is an urban legend, but he died because like I think they were filming it in like Cyprus or something or Malta, and he went to some bar and there was some like Navy guys there, but I think they were like American Navy guys. But anyways, yeah, there's so, an American naval base. Yeah, so he like challenged them to like a drinking contest and, died. and like destroyed them all, but died in the process. Oh no! Yeah. What a way to go there, rock and roll. That, that is pretty rock and roll, man. And he, plus, he was old by that point, man. Like, I mean, burnout not fade away, right? Yeah. But anyway, the uh, we should, that's what that's the segment we need to do. Like a little movie review every week. I get you to watch one, yeah, and then but a good one, and then you have to come back and report. Well, go on then, give us one for next week. Uh, Book of Eli. Denzel Washington's in yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Like. I think I've watched that in the Fuck past. No, but I'll watch it again because I can't remember anything about it. And I'll text Daniel so that. Go watch Angel Heart. Then I don't have to rewatch something. Angel Heart. Yeah. You'll be put off by the fact that it was made in 1987, <sighs> I think. It's black it's and white. Class. It's not black and white. Black and white, 1987. <laughs> it's a class film, man. <laughs> Daniel's just texted me saying, Did you want Tilly do this? We use Alexa to do like shopping lists. Not. <laughs> right, well, you have to send that to Joy so you can hopefully. <laughs> um, you'll enjoy Deadpool and Wolverine, though. It's some proper funny. Like, there was some laugh out louds to finish, which probably isn't that funny for this man, but I found it quite funny. Some wicked fight scenes. I there's a lot of cameos. Yeah, loads of cameos. Yeah. There's no. Sp- and, well, I'm not going to. Why were you making out like I've got no sense of humor? I'm sure I'll find it. <laughs> Did you see the original Deadpool? Uh, yes, yeah, I think we talked about this last week. I think I've seen the first one, didn't see a sequel. Yeah, uh, I like the first one. First it's, one's better than the sequel, anyway. I'm just burnt out on superhero films. I know this is a little different, and that it's yeah. kind of like making it, fun of itself. But Wesley Snipes. This is a bit of a spoiler, but it didn't really change the movie for you. Blade makes a return in this movie. <laughs> yeah, so he's, you know that makes him the longest uh, serving Marvel Cinematic Universe character. Yes, yeah, so he won like a Guinness World Record. Spoiler, <laughs> ain't a spoiler, mate. Like, I, I've seen that on the internet. There's, right, enough, there's been so much shit on the internet about. I know, like, but I've avoided everything. They're, oh, but they're, remake, they're remaking Blade, though, aren't they? With Mahershala Ali. Yeah. 
So like why? Because I think he said that. He's like, how are you going to do it when there's somebody else? They don't really give a shit. They're bringing back Robert Downey Jr. as Doctor Doom. Apparently yeah. in the next phase, they're yeah. bringing back Steve Rogers as uh, uh, the, uh, Chris Evans as um, Human Torch. No, no, I know he was. He did a cameo, but he's coming back as a bad guy in. Uh, why did they, Why would they have to the, use him for different? Like, because if Robert Downey Jr. was. Iron Man, how can he then be another guy? I think they're going to make it like this multiverse thing yeah. whereby like, you know what like they did with this, the last Spider-Man movie where all the Spider-Man men turn up and they're all uh, slightly different. So right. I think it will probably imply that in a different universe, Robert Downey Jr. was turned evil <laughs> and instead of becoming Iron Man, became Victor Von Doom. It's very confusing. I yeah. don't know. Like, I'm just, I'm I don't know so anything bored. about that. So I think that's why like, I just took- You Ned, just have to like- I just took Deadpool for what it was on that day. Like I don't, I don't know any of the other stuff. I mean, you already have to suspend your belief watching those things, but like- <laughs> Even more so now. Disbelief. Disbelief. <laughs> <laughs> nice try though, Josh. Well done. Uh, yeah. So yeah, that was Beard's Challenge Rewind. Um, <laughs> 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 I forgot about that. I'm happy in this That's section. the new segment, yeah. Uh, <coughs> <coughs> Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, do that bit. Do that bit. He's, he didn't prepare one. He used to get himself off the hook. <laughs> I did. So there was one video I found of yours, which I thought was quite a cool premise. Oh, the thanks, George. The title's In Las Vegas for a taco and beer challenge. You only get 15 minutes to finish. Yeah. Do you remember that one? Yeah, yeah. Is that a place called Tacos and Beer? So it kind of did what it said on the tin. But uh, yeah, that was a cool it looked challenge. Like a nice one. It looked nice. Well, that footage looks nice, Adam. Yeah, almost as if I didn't shoot it. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> it's all stock. I think the drone shot might be mine. The first three... They're not your shots? No. Ah, oh, fucking hell, they're not they look sick then. <laughs> Why would you bother? Do you know how much stock footage there is of Las Vegas? Yeah, well, I just wanted it to be like a bombastic, because that's the first episode, I think, in Vegas. Right. So I wanted it to be like a bombastic. Can you see the big band thing in the background? That's still stuck. That, that's some like cinematic knowledge there to have that in the background. Yeah, yeah, to it, make sure it's there. Hey, look, we're in Vegas. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was a cool I'd jump. Am I talking about it? Yeah, tell us about watching it. it. No, no, no. Um, Yes, yeah, so it's a place called Tacos and Beer where they have a, uh, I can't remember how many tacos it was. I want to say like 12 or maybe How many is the Josh? 15. Oh, I'm just... I, I mean, the, the, the colour grade's a bit a bit pants. Everything looks a bit yellow. I think there's think... three, six, nine, 17. 17 tacos? That doesn't yeah. sound right. Anyway, a, a bunch of tacos and a... F- is it like a flight of <coughs> b- beers? Yeah, four beers. Four like thirds of uh, of beer. Yeah, um, I think they're thirds or schooners. I don't know my beer terminology, but uh, yeah. So you have to finish all that. I think in fifteen minutes. And I think when I got there, like two people done it. But if you do it, you get the meal free. You get a t shirt, uh, and you get a, like a glass uh, to take home. And it's cool because you get to choose what t shirt you want. We've got a couple of different ones, so that makes it a bit interesting. Um, but yeah, so you only get 15 minutes, so uh, most people lose because predominantly of the beer rather than the tacos. Uh, Why? Because they finish all the food and they just can't get the beer Because I think they pro- most people, when I was talking to a woman there, she, she was saying that a lot of people leave the... I left it a lot to the end, but she was saying that a lot of people just kind of sip at the beer and then when they've eaten, you know, like eight tacos or whatever, yeah. or six tacos, they don't really want to drink the beer because it's beer. Um, so but did it's you cool. do all the tacos first and then... Tackle the beer after. No, I think I, I don't think I drank water with that. I think I was just going no, with the beer. Sipping with beer. I think I was yeah. sipping beer as I went, and I think I did leave. I didn't. I, I was trying to just watch my fluid consumption like I normally would, but you had to eat pretty quickly, so I used a decent amount of it. Um, but it's it's always kind of fun when they include beer because it's interesting when you put it up t- to think. Oh, if somebody from YouTube reviews this, you never really know if they're gonna demonetize it. You know, on the on the basis that's perhaps yeah. not the most. Um, Sensible thing to encourage, right? Yeah. But I mean, nobody's gonna get drunk from that, right? But, um, yeah, it's just, I, I would <laughs> for beer, yeah, you probably would, actually. Ass. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a cool challenge, different, you know, tacos and beer. Tacos tasted really good. Um, what was and, in the tacos? Uh, they all different, a bunch of yeah, it was like uh, pulled pork, and I think some beef, maybe some other chicken, and others, but it was, it, it was one that uh, tasted really good. Um, yeah, nothing much more to say about that one. See, uh, Josh put in the chat this morning, there's a food challenge in Pontefract for fi- 500 quid up for grabs. It's, yeah, it's a, it's a takeout, mate. Oh, is it? Yeah. Did you not, is it, I thought it was just going to be like that big that no one's actually ever going to finish it. No, it's not even that big. And I'm oh, sick right. of, I keep, people keep sending me videos of their TikToks where like, this is the world's biggest pizza. I'm like, man, it's not even the biggest pizza in England. <laughs> it's not, it's not the mean? biggest like, one in West Yorkshire. So I don't really like the idea of, uh, nothing against the place. I, I can't remember what it's called, but... Um, I don't really like encouraging that type of bit, you know, when you're just, you're just doing stuff for like 
Yeah, no, I get it. Oh, this is a big When he said, it perks my ears up because when he said 500 quid, I thought, like, that's a lot of money to. Um, yeah, it's 20 minutes as well. So it's doable looking at it, but like, you can't really have much fun with that, can you? It's like, they just kind of pluck these things out of thin air. Um, plus, it's a takeout. You know. I've been uh, I've been doing the rounds of McDonald's franchises in the uh, West Yorkshire, Wakefield, Dewsbury, Batley area. Just chatting to. <laughs> it's funny you walk into McDonald's and I'm like, "Can I speak to a manager, please?" And a 12 year old walks up to you and like, "I'm the manager." And I'm like, "All right, I'm looking to do this video." <laughs> and they go, "Let me go get the other manager." <laughs> and then an adult walks out. <laughs> Yeah. Go get your dad, mate. Yeah. <laughs> so, if anybody who listens is a, a franchise owner of a McDonald's or knows a, knows somebody that let us film in one, uh, please let us know. We, I guarantee, I will say nothing. I, I, admittedly, I'm not the greatest fan of McDonald's, but I guarantee you, I will say nothing negative about the brand. And I'm pretty sure, even if I did, it's a brand which is so stable that it's yeah. outside any kind of. Have you never done any sort of like um, sponsored? collaborations with them in the past because I know they do quite a lot of stuff don't they with different McDonald's yeah no alright I thought you might because you've done like five guys and stuff haven't you never like sponsored no I thought you had did something for Papa John's ages right, ago right okay alright back when I was uh, when I could be bought <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was fun though. I always thought Papa John's was quite good to, to like do work for I was yeah. kind of quite kind of put people that you, would, you could do work organically for right? you know what yeah. I mean like that type of work can you come down and eat some pizza at headquarters and we're going to film it. Yeah, sweet. Dead easy. Yeah, that's all right, isn't it? So I'm not giving anything away by doing that. I wonder if Kate's got any connections down there at McDonald's. She might have done some stuff with him. I'm not actually. driving that fucking London to, do, to go to a McDonald's, mate. No, I mean more in, in like McDonald's HQ, wherever that is. Ronald. Ronald and his ivory tower. I think the, the most likely way in which we would get permission to do that is from a local franchise owner mm. who was prepared to allow us to film there. Who's a fan of the of the beard. Maybe, yeah, but I mean, even the first one you went to, was they were aware of what I did, weren't they? And they and yeah, every single one, they've, like, they've been like, yeah, we can do it. And then they've gone, yeah, actually, I spoke to my dad and he said, no. <laughs> so I'm like, fuck. It's a shame because that'd be a good, it'd be a good video, that, but uh, yeah, we can't really do it um, unless we do it properly, so. Do you have to do it at McDonald's though? Can you just do it anyway? <laughs> uh... It's you know the idea of you know the idea, don't you? Roughly, I can't really say it on the podcast to spoil it, but yeah, it, it like has to be done at KFC in. or like no, a, no, no, I wouldn't have no. the same pull with it. I think right. we could do it at Waffle House, but um, they don't have those in England. You know, they're opening Popeyes in Wakefield. Have you seen it? Yeah. Yeah. I drive past it every day. It's fucking trash food, though. Popeyes is it? Yeah, it's fucking horrible. Because every day I've seen them building it, I'm like, what, what's that? And then I finally put a sign on it. Yeah, but I just I, noticed it there because I got my got my coffee. Didn't buy one for you. Yeah, thanks. But, um, I, know, I was like, oh shit, Popeyes. Lots of American food brands around there. You've got Sparrow, Cinnabon in the petrol station. Yeah. yeah. I say lots. Three. Snow Hill Retail Park in Wakefield. For Taco Bell's an American thing, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, but Taco Bell won at first ones that came over, but I only ever knew that they were one in Pansley for like for all my <laughs> mm. life. It's just one in Leeds, all there was. Yeah, it's one in City Centre. Back of the Marion Centre. I've never cool. had a, I've never had a Taco Bell. Yeah. Kind of overrated, man. I like the Chalupas. Those are all right. I don't really I'm not really into fast food, to tell you the truth. What's the deal with wagon mamas, by the way? What, like, why can they not get, why can they not figure out the timings of food? Is it you're like the they're, just trying, to have, they're just trying to be fun with it? Or? I think the, you're the only person I've ever heard complain about wagon mamas. Are you fucking kidding me? Like, I've not we, been We had a wagon mamas before the live show and it was all right. Yeah, but like, so we ordered two starters. First thing that came with my curry. Oh, they all came together, didn't they, really? Then the ramen came. And then we'd finished this food, chatted. Then the gyoza comes over. <laughs> gyoza? Well, how, how do you pronounce it? Gyoza. 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 The Gyoza. Right. And then 20 more minutes later, the bow buns arrive. I'm fucking stuffed. At that point, I'm like, I, I want to do dessert. I'm out. Sounds like you, that, yeah. Stuffed. Um, yeah, I don't know. Like, I don't want to align myself with this. I actually, I've only been to Wagamama's three times. I, I enjoyed it every time. <laughs> I enjoyed it every time. It was nice food. It's just why can they not figure out that a guy like a gyoza takes ten minutes? Stop to saying gyoza, please. <laughs> Let's go back. I went to this restaurant for- in the. In Wait- <laughs> I've got to tell you, not Wakefield in Liverpool. I've got to tell you, stand by uh, the Albert Dock called. Uh, I've forgotten the name. Of it. I think it was like Lebanese. I went in there at like. That's what it was called. No, it was the food was Lebanese. Uh-huh. Uh, I think I went there like I don't know four thirty, <laughs> and I walked in the restaurant. It's completely empty, completely empty. And I'm like, Can you get a table for two, please. And they're like. Uh, have you booked? <laughs> I'm like, no. <laughs> and she's like, well, we can give you that table, but we're going to need it back by like eight o'clock. And I'm like, 
admittedly, my, my reputation might precede me, but I'm not going to be here eating for four hours. Uh, you see, you could maybe squeeze us in, like, yeah, go on, you can have that one. I'm thinking, I can be an empty restaurant and be like d- d- trying to discourage people from eating there. I get it. I get they're going to have tables coming in. But even like when, when we left, like, up, like an, I don't know, maybe 90 minutes later, it was still there's empty. still like four, four tables in there. I think it's because it's not that people that work there don't give a bollocks to the, it's not their money. So they're just like, yeah, that's going to be an awkward cunt. But why? The, what's the point? Just like, uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I don't mind them saying like, oh, we need the table back by this point. Yeah. But like, yeah. Common sense. I'm probably not going to be eating there for four hours. You know what I mean? <laughs> what did you order? What did you have? Uh, it was like a tapas style thing. You know, uh, the, you know, you know, you tapas that night, Wait. didn't you? Wait. You get it? I get it, Josh. Table for two. Yeah. All right, sorry. Carry, carry on. Yeah. You don't know what I was eating with. <laughs> I was eating with my new potential cameraman. Who's gonna, um, Good. Good luck on yeah, Reddit, they, lad. They, they were like, uh, they were, they were, uh, well, no, nah, but you might actually be able to like make good videos. I'm not trying to make himself a centre of attention. No, Hold I'm on, mate. I'm not, I'm not Boom. I'm, I'm George, going. have you have you seen how many views is on the Gordon Rams video now? Yeah, 22 mil. 22 million views. That's in 10 months. That is fucking mental, isn't it? Anyway, carry on. That Tap was, ass. That was, that was, yeah, it was, um, it was one of those places, you know, say you should order. A bit like when, when you remember when we were filming the uh, Christmas video in Cumbria, went to that Mexican place. Yes. And they're like, get get six, get six each because they're quite small. They come with like full size fucking meals. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I see what's going on here. It was the same there. So, like, oh, we recommend you get like, you know, th- at least three. So I'm thinking, I'm pretty hungry. I'll get, I'll get four. Yeah. I came out, one of them was like a full head of cauliflower. <laughs> it was pretty nice. With cauliflower with like a cheese and, uh, um, like a cheese and like a buffalo style sauce on it, but it's quite literally like a full head of cough. I'm thinking, fuck me, that's more than most people eat. <laughs> I got that and some lamb kofta and uh, some uh, some cod. <laughs> it was literally just like a small piece of fried fish. You know, like imagine you went to a fish and chip shop and you got like the little kids, yeah, piece, like a goujon, and but just on the plate by itself. I'm thinking, this is <laughs> what, what, I just pick it up and eat it. Uh, but yeah, was, I don't know. I start talking about that. Nice experience. But yeah, that was a good one. Tacos and beer. Check check them out if you're in <laughs> Vegas. Right, should we wrap it up? Uh, Please. About to hit the hour mark. Oh, yeah. Should we finish well, off? Well, Fernando's lunch today. If you fancy, yeah, mate, yeah. 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 Are you buying? I'm just If you, if, if you don't order like you did before, <laughs> we, we went on a couple of months ago. I went, I'll get this, mate. And he, he, he not looked at the menu. He ordered the, it were like <laughs> a family platter. It was like 70 quid. Fucking three chickens. It was not 70 quid, you lying bastards, and I were with you. You were with me, weren't you? Yeah. Well, yeah. And I'm like, <laughs> I'll still pay for it. <laughs> it's like, I had a salad. <laughs> <laughs> it came and he went, you might see something really special here, boss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Front row seats. <laughs> I didn't do that, but... Um, <laughs> no, he said it took where. Anyway, go on. I, pro- I will order a lot of food, though, because I think once a day. Yeah, yeah. So I'll get like three chicken breasts. Sorry, you bit, said you were paying so. A bit of broccoli, yeah. yeah. All right. All right, let's finish. <laughs> I feel like I may need to clarify what Fespit is, if there's any like new listeners. Yeah, go on, it's been man. a long time since we've explained what it is. How the listeners? fuck are like 15,000 people listening to episodes of this? I noticed that the other day. I thought we were still on like 800 like, view, <laughs> views an episode. Like, I, what's going on? I don't know. I don't know how it's happened. I think we've just like, we've persevered. What I think is going to happen is, right, we'll get to 500 episodes. We'll be like <sighs> top of the charts. <laughs> Right. And then people, there'll be headlines, they'll be like, new podcast takes over the world. And it'll take us like new podcast. five years to be an overnight success. That's what's going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> I doubt it. But it would be nice if, if uh, I wasn't spending like 600 quid a month for nothing. Uh, so yeah, move and get there one day. <laughs> yeah, join the queue, mate. <laughs> Fucking hell. Yeah, but it's like your office. We li- this sense. room only gets used for this. Yeah, but it's still like an... Anyway, at least we have to. We've let's done. get through the, the, the thing. Anyway, so first bit... For any new listeners that don't know what this is, basically anonymous confessions that are posted on Twitter that we've sort of pulled and they're quite funny. Uh, so first one, post-divorce, dated my first completely bald man. He started kissing my neck and worked his way down my chest. Nice. But when I opened my eyes and looked down, uh, I still do not know why I was so indelicate and said out loud, it looks like I've got three boobs. <laughs> the end. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think it's wrong, is it? It's like a, probably an accurate like, a, like a knee, like the top of a knee, wasn't it? Yeah. That's one of those things where like, I'm cool with that, man. Like if I was the ball guy, I'd be, probably, probably laugh about it. But if you visit LG Aesthetics on Instagram, you can get your, <laughs> <laughs> you can get your hair sorted out for as little as, I don't know, free, I guess. I don't know how much it costs. Any more? All right, and last one. Went to a wedding, excited, because apparently the fit bridesmaid fancied me. I was dancing with her all night. 
decided to untuck my shirt because I was hot, but didn't realise that I'd caught the tail of the shirt between the paper and my ass after I had a dump. Everyone saw, didn't pull her. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh no. Yeah. yeah, that's unfortunate. <coughs> Bit started today. Don't know why. Hair fever, I think. <laughs> uh, those are pretty tame for yeah, uh, for uh, usual. All right, well, let's jump over to Patreon. We've actually we've just got a new Fuck. subscriber on Patreon called Neil Davis, and his first comment was, "My life is now complete. I have joined the shittiest Patreon around. Best money I've ever spent." Laughed face. Thanks, Neil. <laughs> Cheers, that's, that's like a good promo. Um, thanks everybody for listening and watching. I think we've done all right this week. He's not broken. We'll see you next week. Catch you on the flip side, dude meisters. Dude meisters.